Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. Welcome to photo class number 271. Hit the subscribe button, it keeps this channel going. Please give me a thumbs up, please comment below, and for goodness sakes, email me any photography question, black and white photo at aol.com, and I will answer your photography question for free, of course, within a day. All right, guys, what the heck is this camera I'm holding? Guys, this is the gorgeous Lumex GX8. Professional camera. Guys, this camera currently sells on the internet used in minty condition for $475. Why does this 2015 camera cost $475 used? Well, in a little while on this episode, I'm going to tell you how to save 63% over that price. So stay with the, stay with us. <laughs> okay. To start with, this was in 2015 Lumex, Panasonic, Panasonic Lumex's flagship professional camera. Why? Because it was given the silver award by DP Review. After having scored an 82 in their testing of dpreview.com. The review is still up. I encourage you to go. The DP review and, and read the review. Who knows how long DP review will be up and running since the new owners took over. Okay, let's run down a few things and I'm sure you're going to agree. Once you see the street photographs that I took with this a few days ago, wait till you see the output of this GX8. All right. So like I said, it's 20 megapixels on a four thirds sensor platform. It has built in image stabilization and the engineering of that image stabilization will give it dual image stabilization in conjunction with a lens that also has image stabilization, okay? And the lens in question is this gorgeous Olympus professional lens it's the Olympus 12 to 100 F4 zoom lens with image stabilization. All right. So the ISO range is 200 to hold on to your britches, 25,600. All metal construction, magnesium body. It's weather sealed. Now, it has a crop factor of two times. So no matter what lens you put on here, you multiply it by two, and that'll give you the actual focal length of what you're shooting if it was a 35 millimeter full frame. So in this case, the 12 millimeter on the low end is a 24, and the 100 millimeter on the high end is really a 200. So in reality, this is a 24 to 200 lens. Max shutter speed is one eight thousandth of a second. That will freeze just about any kind of motion, any kind of person running, a biker, a, a car, motorcycle photography. It uses an SD card. Now, if you noticed in the beginning, I popped up the electronic viewfinder. This electronic viewfinder gives you regular rangefinder <coughs> style viewing, right? But it also gives you straight down viewing. Now, I told many of you guys before how I use this type of viewfinder, right? Now you could look at it down, right? as if you're using a twin lens reflex, right? You could look at it this way. But 
As a street photographer, I use it this way. Okay, so I'm looking this way and you're the subject I want to photograph across the street, especially with the zoom lens. I generally like to use a telephoto on street photography to be very undercover, right? So the electronic viewfinder is this way, but look where the lens is. The lens is facing you. So I can photograph you without you even knowing it. I'm looking this way. I'm looking through the viewfinder. Boom. I take your picture. You would never even know that I took your picture. Oh, a few of you have asked what kind of uh, mini tripod this is. I have to actually look. It's the iFootage, I-F-O-O-T-A-G-E. I bought it. It's all metal, right? And it's a great short mini tripod, okay, with a, with a ball head. Look at that. Just great. Okay, let's keep going. So like I said, the camera... This GX8 20 megapixel camera sells in good condition or minty condition for about $475 here in 2023. Now, like I promised, I'm going to tell you how I got this for $175. 63% off. Here's what happened. I knew I wanted to get the GX8. So instead of just going on eBay and finding it and buying it, don't do that. Once you have found the camera you want, you've read about it, you've watched videos like this about it, you've seen samples of what it can do like this, Stop. Don't buy the camera yet. Go to Google. Put the make and model, put Lumex GX8 into Google. And sometimes you'll find it cheaper from an online retailer like Used Photo Pro, KEH, Adorama, MPB.com. They might have it cheaper. Okay. And that's exactly how I did not pay $475 for this used camera. I paid $175 because as I searched for it on Google, MPB had one for $175. And I'm like, it must be for parts. So I went, I clicked on it, went to mpb.com. Now I'm not sponsored by them at all. They don't give me anything. All right. Here's what the description said. Working. Perfect, mint condition, very, very low shutter count, body in excellent condition, except for one thing. The tilty screen does not work. Now, it is repairable if I send it out to get it repaired. I'm not going to change the screen by myself. So I says, ah, oh, the screen doesn't work. How can I do my work on the menu or see the playback of the photo, see if it's even working. Here's the magic. The electronic viewfinder will show you everything. It shows you everything that the screen would have done. Your menu, your playback for the photographs, everything. There's nothing that it can't do that the screen did. All right. Except maybe uh, tilt front. <laughs> Right, because that is one of the advantages of this camera, because it does take videos. I don't use it for videos, but that's what it does. Okay, so you can't look at the screen forward because it's not in operating condition, but I don't take videos with uh, the GX8, okay? This is strictly a photography camera. So, that's what I wanted to tell you to always check to see if there's a deal out there. And this certainly was a deal. I got it for 63% less than a perfect model, a used 
perfect model of $475, okay? So for me, I just keep the rear screen in the closed position and I use the electronic viewfinder for everything, okay? Now, I want to show you the photographs all up. It's like a dozen or so photographs. Please subscribe to my channel and bye-bye from New York City.